if polar equations uh, are given, can you convert it to Cartesian? So from polar to Cartesian. And I gave you Cartesian or rectangular. And I gave you the formulas to use. But before we do that, we will do a little trick, which is very interesting. We're going to just get rid of the denominator. I'm going to multiply everything by the denominator. 8 sine theta plus 33 cosine theta. That will be r multiplied by 8 sine theta plus 33 cosine theta on the left-hand side equals 27. This is what we have now. To jump from power to Cartesian means to get rid of theta and r using some kind of equations. So after this, I don't know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, I gave like very nice hint. Write down all the formulas we know. We don't know many formulas for this chapter yet. So we only know x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We know the tangent thing, tangent theta y over x. And we know that x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. That's literally all we know for now. So for nine, for this chapter, in gen at the beginning of polar equations, honestly speaking, if you keep rewriting those equations, you'll memorize them faster. And when you stare at them, something usually works. Like you stare at them a little bit, then you stare at your problem and something usually works. Do you see anything we should use? X and Y, I heard you, very good. Let's see, R times sine and R times cosine apparently have formulas X and Y. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's distribute R. R will go inside, becomes R sine theta plus 33, R cosine theta equals 27. You're staring a little bit on the formulas you know, and you figure out that R sine is X, there's no parentheses here. And our quotient is y, and it becomes 8x plus 33y equals 27. Boom. Well, not only we got rid of both r and theta at the same time, but we also got right away into the answer. It's a line. You see it, right? It's a line. You can solve for y if you want to see that this is a line. And unfortunately, for your homework, they do want you to solve for y. To like make it very clear that it is an, indeed a line. It's a linear equation. Yes? Also, quick question. On the, in the blue, it says x equals r cosine theta. Wouldn't that mean that you would have a flip on the equation? It would be 33 r cosine oh. theta to the x. Good point. I did it on purpose. So everyone pay attention. <laughs> good job. R sine is y. That's a very good point. And then our cosine is x. Thank you. Nice. So that is 8y and 33x. See how nice that I make mistakes. People pay attention. And question, question the authority. Bless you. Then it will be y equals, do you know how I do it fast? 27 minus 33x. So I'm moving 33x to the right and divide by eight. That is the equation of the line. There's one more way to write it down. Y equals minus 33 over 8X plus 27 over 8. That's M Y. That's MX plus B form. All of these are correct. Just depends on what your homework <coughs> wants from you. All of these forms are correct. It's the same thing. It's a line. Y equals mx plus b slope is minus 33 over 8 so the line is decreasing shift up by 27 over 8 units good can you do this on the, your homework on a test so very classical examples to be honest and this one is also classical example which we like to give on the tests is jumping between cartesian and polar more more examples on that if I give you a, a, r equals, let 
where is uh, oh the first one is I did not see so uh, if I give you now Cartesian ones 9x plus 2y equals 2 and let's undo b so find polar equation polar equation which means this time we're jumping from Cartesian to polar again you don't know what to do write down the formulas we now stare at them a little bit and then you see something will work x and y is our cosine and our sine so are we basically undoing what we did in the previous example solution use the fact that x is our cosine theta and y is our sine theta plug them in and you will have nine r cosine theta plus two r sine theta equals two you can leave it as it is or you can solve for r then r will be equal blah 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 so it used to be a line in cartesian and now we're writing down a line in polar so if they do ask you you factor out r and we basically are doing everything we did before and divide by the factor not divide by whatever is left over nine cosine theta plus two sine theta equals two divide by those parentheses and the formula becomes r equals two over nine cosine theta plus two sine theta and that is the answer as you remember if in Cartesian we have usually the form y equals blah blah blah, in polar we have r equals blah blah blah. So that is kind of the same example, uh, but we just reversed the process. Completely reversed the process. And in your homework, they will ask you to find the equation of a tangent line, and we do know the formula that you need to do it step by step. So it is nothing new, to be honest. We just had it in the previous chapter as well. What do you think about this?